Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, Frank Sweet. Quickly want to talk about rectifier, regulator, and troubleshooting. I'm not going to be doing a, a fix and build and whatnot. I'm more going to concentrate on the uh, whiteboard on values and uh, scenarios. So <clears throat> what we need to concentrate on is you start a relay and then you have three AC wires coming from the stator going to the regulator rectifier which then comes out converts it into 12 volt for your battery okay you have three wires yellow wires into the rectifier out to the battery and you have a starter relay it's got two positive connections red coming from the battery and leading towards the starter and it's got a 30 amp fuse and it's got four poles right so what you need to uh, do a fix on these is a proper set of lugs pliers a multimeter I've got two gauge wiring don't use anything less than that nice and thick it's not too thick um, soldering iron and solder and a standing knife be sure not to cut yourself with it they are very sharp Okay, I think let's quickly run to the whiteboard and have a quick chat and discussion about what I want to tell you. Okay, so the rectifier, regulator rectifier fix is one thing. Um, I want to do a simulation when you're on the road. Whilst riding and your bike cuts out completely dead, first check your negative or positive terminal on the battery. Um, if it's anything further than that and the, the poles are still tight then you can remove your side cover um, on the right hand side standing in front of the bike right hand side and have a look at the wiring um, on the regulator rectifier what usually happens is that your relay your starter relay the four wires on those poles will pick up uh, a hot connection and they will start melting and this is going to cause problems for you so preventative maintenance have a look at that plug um, but I want to talk about some values quickly <clears throat> so on your stator you have this bike comes standard with a three-phase stator um, it has dual headlights so obviously a lot of power is consumed it's a three-phase stator and each phase um, idling or running at about 3000 rpms you'll see anything from 12 volt to 30 volt ac very important not dc ac we'll get back to that one your regulator rectifier is a 50 amp unit so you do get 35 amp units they look the same um, but they're not higher rating full charging on these bikes varies uh, anything from 13.8 to 14.5 volt if you want to build in a, a voltmeter on your, on your dash panel in the front, if you connect it to your normal standard lights on and off, um, you might see a difference in voltage. Have a look at it. It'll show 11, 11, 12 volt, but if you check it on the battery itself, it's actually 13.8, 14 volts. Just make sure on that. Don't be, don't get confused there. Um, hot connections, melting wires. <clears throat> the KTM 950 and 990s have the same issue. Not as common as the Africa Twins, but then again, the Africa Twins have been around since the uh, late 80s, early 90s, up to 2003, last model. The stator wires, the three yellow ones that lead back to the rectifier, they do get fairly warm. So that's normal, it's natural. Your rectifier should heat up, that's also natural. Uh, I've seen people putting fans on the rectifiers. That, that really doesn't do it for me. I don't think you do any preventative uh, measures to put a fan on there. It's just some electrical things that 
will anyway pick up dust and um, will stop working. So if you have good solid connections, good lugs, it's clean. Um, I, mean, I didn't pick up any issues. So they do get hot, but not that hot. Starter relay consists of four wires, two red on the front and a yellow and a green at the back which engage your uh, starter from your button on the top going down. Now if you have a look at the relay box, the OEM one is a black unit and the aftermarkets are green. Um, where your plug goes in, you'll see your red wiring coming at the back of them. If you buy an aftermarket starter relay and fit it similarly as it is in the bike currently, you'll see it won't work. You have to, you have to actually take the <clears throat> aftermarket one, turn it 180 around, and have your positive poles in the front and have your plug at the back. You'll see on the positive poles on the battery, there's a number, well, lettering X and Y, if I, if I can remember correctly. Keep them next to each other, facing the same way and have a look at the X and the Y's. You'll see the one is on this side and the other one is turned around. So just uh, flip the relay. I had a subscriber who did a, <coughs> a fix and um, I'll show some uh, footage on the, on the video that we're doing of what his looked like. It's a common issue on them. Um, they, they tend to run hot on the, on the rectifiers and the wiring. But stator wires, uh, stators don't really get uh, go faulty. It's, it's likely that they go faulty. Um, <clears throat> rectifiers, regulators, yes. Uh, the 50 amp units are available through Startline in South Africa. You can buy the cheaper version, uh, 50 amp, about four or five hundred rand, and you can buy the MOSFET unit for thousand, one hundred, thousand, two hundred rand. But the MOSFET is, is more stable, I, I like it more, but it, it doesn't matter, you choose what you want to buy. Um, <clears throat> things to keep spare that when you go riding, if you can afford it, keep a spare rectifier. I would, uh, I would suggest the, the cheaper um, version on the 50 amp unit. Uh, I think the Yamaha R1 takes the same stator, just make sure it's a 50 amp unit and it's got uh, three wires coming in and it doesn't matter if it's got two green coming out and two red coming out it you can have one green and one red as well that'll give you enough uh, charging but just make sure it's a 50 amp unit um, on the riding uh, simulation you if you if you ride and your voltmeter starts going haywire to 20 volt um, again it's a sign that your rectifier has packed up. Um, I had I had pushed at some stage 20 volt through the uh, voltmeter that I could physically see and it didn't damage the CDI. So maybe I was just lucky, but it didn't damage it. So I'm, I'm all good with that. But yeah, on the regulator rectifier, um, take your side cover off, um, have a look at the parts. If, if they are dirty, um, if they are melted, I mean, Startline has these relay plugs um, or just these are old bikes. They're bulletproof, but they do have problems of their own. And it's really a handful of issues that, that can be dealt with and it'll give you quite a bit more life out of, out of the bike. And as I said, always make sure on one of my previous videos, um, keep the oil levels up to date, top it up. They do use oil. Um, especially if you're going 150, 160, use a pint or so. Um, but bulletproof, robust, no hassles. Okay, and we'll do another video uh, after this one, a different topic. Um, hope you enjoy the videos. Please like and subscribe. The channel is, is growing. I'm, I'm getting a lot of feedback from people, uh, especially between the um, Africa Twin and the 990 more on the Africa Twin, which is great. I'll do more footage. And I will be doing a top-end rebuild on this at some stage uh, in the next month or two or three. Um, we're still busy on that uh, on, on the Gucci and the, the KX250. Uh, 
receive the stickers so i'll do a bit of uh, detail on the next video on that one but yes thanks for supporting us please like and subscribe um, and we'll chat in in further videos i'm open up for comments please ask away okay bye bye everybody until later We're done. Last video is just completed. We'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye-bye.